It's July, UCAP bookings are open and for those of you looking to apply for medicine or dentistry this year, that means your application process has begun. Hi guys, it's Ayatha. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'll be going to my third year of medicine at Cambridge. So make sure you hit the subscribe button to keep up with my life in terms of vlogs and also during the application process as well. So this video is for those of you who are looking to apply to medicine this year and I'll be giving a broad overview of the application process and also things to include in your personal statement and in your application. So the first thing you need to decide is whether you're going to do the UCAT or the BMAT. So these are two admissions tests that you have to do to apply to med school in the UK. So you can either do only the UCAT, only the BMAT or both of them. Personally, I did both, but it depends on what universities you're thinking of applying to to make your decision. So the booking of the UCAT exam is already open. It opened in the 1st of July and it runs from the 3rd of August to the 1st of October and you can pick any time within that spot. So my one tip for the UCAT would be to book it as early as possible according to how you've prepared or how you're planning to prepare. You can actually move your date for your test further back so if you're not ready or if you think that you could use a few more days or uh, one more week, then you can push it back. But if you book it for the last date possible, then if you're not ready, you can't push it back. So that would be my one tip. Also needed for your medicine application in which that you'll probably expand upon in your personal statement would be your work experience and your volunteering. So I probably suspect that most of you were planning to use this summer to do your work experience and volunteering but because of the situations right now is not possible. So down below, I'm gonna put some links to some virtual work experiences that are taking place. And on my Instagram as well, I'll be sharing and putting on my story loads and loads of things to help you guys in your application process. So if you wanna go over and follow my Instagram, I put on my story every single day, virtual work experiences, tips from Instagram pages, and I also share loads of Instagram pages that will help you guys during this time as well. So leading on from that is your personal statement. Your personal statement is one of the only times in which you actually get to show yourself as a unique candidate and really tell whoever's reading why you want to study medicine, what makes you equipped to study medicine and all the research and all the information that you've used to make this decision. So in your personal statement, you have a limited amount of characters and words in which you have to show whoever's reading and convince them to give you a space. Each university uses your personal statement differently. So in some universities, they look at it with all the information. Some of them look for key things and that is normally mentioned in the medical school website. So make sure you check the medical school website for all the universities you're thinking of applying to. So the personal statement is your main opportunity to stand out as an applicant against other people that might have the same GCSE scores as you or the same UCAT scores as you and to show that you have the skills needed to be a doctor. Now that we've spoken briefly on the personal statement, the other admissions test is called the BMAT and that is for only a limited number of medical schools. I'll put them here. These medical schools require the BMAT instead of the UCAT. So the BMAT is always run on the 4th of November every single year and it's a written paper and it has three sections. It has section one, which is kind of similar to the UCAT, section two, which is more science heavy and section three, which is essay based and you get a score after. And the date for handing in your applications for those who are applying for Oxbridge and medicine and dentistry is the 15th of October. So you actually do your BMAT after you hand in your applications and that can be quite tricky because you don't know how well or how badly, hopefully not, you might do in your BMAT. So you're kind of taking a risk. A few years ago, they changed it so that there are two test dates. So there was one in September and one in November, but this year they had to cancel the September one because of the COVID-19 situation. So you've done your admissions test. You've written your personal statement you've sent in your application, what next? So next is choosing your universities and each university uses your personal statement 
GCSC and UCAT and BMAT score differently. So if you want to see how each university uses it, I would suggest a website called Medic Portal, which gives you a rundown of how each university uses it. So you can make an informed choice as to how you pick your universities. I know that University of Birmingham has a thing on their website that you can put in all your stats, so your GCSEs and your UCAT scores, and they will tell you whether you're likely to get in for an interview or not. So that can really help you to pick the right university. So you've done your admissions test, you've written your personal statement and you've sent in your application. Next is your interviews. There are two forms of interviews and different universities do different types. So there's the traditional interview, which is you with a panel of people and those could be tutors in Cambridge, their supervisors, and then they question you on why you want to study medicine, your personal statement, scientific topic. They just want to know that you have the right skills, the right qualities to make a great doctor. The other type of interview is called MMI, multiple mini interviews. So these are mini interviews that last around five minutes each and you go around circuits in a room and you have to do different things. So you might have to follow instructions, you might have to speak to someone who is cosplaying as a patient, you might have to do some maths. And there's lots of different tasks that the university might give you to test whether you have the right qualities to be a doctor. Now, most of this will happen between September and next year. January or February. After that, you just need to focus on your A-levels and make sure you get the grade. It's the worst thing to have done all this work, to have written your personal statement, to have done all the admissions tests, to have sent it in, and to just miss your grades. So you need to focus on your A-levels and try to make sure that you reach the grade requirements. So this timeline is quite long. The medicine application is a long process. And the first thing I would ask you to do is to make sure that you want to study medicine because the UCAT is not a free exam. Some of my friends did the UCAT and then after they've got their marks, decided medicine wasn't for them after all. I really ask you guys to really think and reflect as to whether you actually want to do medicine. Also, another tip for you is to take each step as it comes. Focus and give your all to your UCAT. Give your all to writing the best person statement. Give all the or give your all to doing the best in your BMAT. Really prepare for your interviews and, and do the best you can in your A-levels. These are stepping stones leading you to where you want to go, which is ultimately medical school. So give your all and try your best in all parts of your application. During this time, I'll be making more videos that go in depth to the different parts of the application process. I'm gonna start with going through the UCAT given my best tips and have all the resources that I used. I didn't spend a single penny on UCAT or BMAT preparation and you guys don't need to either. I'm going to give you all the things I used to get the best marks possible. So comment down below what part of the application process that you really want me to make a video on. Comment down below if you would like me to make a public playlist of all the YouTube videos I use for every step of the process. So, so for my UCAT, for my BMAT and for my interviews and everything in between. So that's the video. I hope you guys got an overview of the medicine application process. It may seem quite nerve-wracking and daunting, but once you start doing it, it'll be fine. Make sure you share this video, like, because it helps my channel a lot, comment any suggestions or anything that you want me to talk about specifically, and subscribe. Bye!